So here we have a rather mischievous integral. You're probably completing this question within the context of reviewing all the various techniques of integration. The most straightforward, although still sometimes challenging, technique is U substitution. And that turns out to be the technique that's going to work best here. But before we apply that technique, let's recall how we can rewrite this exponential function right here. We remember that e raised to the power of m, let's say, multiplied by e raised to the power of n would equal e raised to the power of m plus n. Basically, you just add the exponents. And we can apply that rule in either direction. So we can multiply to get that result, or we can actually take the result and decompose it back into a multiplication. And that's actually what we're going to do here. So let's go ahead and factor out the nine just to get that out of our way. That's gonna leave us with e to the four x plus e to the four x and then dx. And then again, we're going to use that revision or that rewriting that we just discussed. So you can rewrite this as e to the 4x multiplied by e raised to e to the 4x. Just pause the video if you need to to make sure that makes sense. Remember, when you multiply these exponential expressions, you end up adding the powers. And indeed, 4x plus e to the 4x would equal this power right here. So that is a legitimate way and a useful way of rewriting the problem because now we can begin to apply a u substitution. We're going to let u equal 4x. And then if we differentiate both sides of that equation, we get du is equal to 4dx. And then we can actually multiply both sides by 1 fourth so that we have 1 fourth du is equal to dx. So now we're going to rewrite our problem in terms of u. We'll have 9 times the integral of e raised to the u times e raised to the e raised to the u. Yes, that is confusing, frankly. And then that's multiplied by dx, but remember dx is actually going to be 1 fourth du. Now we can take the 1 fourth because it's a constant and we can factor it to the outside. Be careful, there's already a nine there. So you're gonna multiply the nine and the 1 fourth to get nine fourths times the integral e to the u times e raised to the e to the u du. Now this still looks rather challenging, and it is, unless we apply yet another round of substitution. We won't use u because we've already used u, so why don't we just let v equal e to the u. Again, we would need to differentiate that, so we would have dv equals, now the derivative of e to the u is just e to the u, and then we'll have du here. And then what I like to do is, just like we solved for dx in the previous one, I'll solve for du. So I will divide both sides by e to the u. So I have dv over e to the u is equal to du. Holy smokes. Okay, so let's go back here. We have 9 fourths times the integral of e to the u times e raised. Now this e to the u right here we're gonna replace that with v. So this becomes e to the v. And then du is going to be substituted with dv over e to the u. Now, if you look very carefully, the e to the u in the numerator here and the e to the u in the denominator there cancel out. And we are finally left with a relatively easy integral of just e to the v dv. We all know that the integral of e to the v dv is just e to the v. Could this problem get any more confusing? We recall that v was equal to e to the u. So you're gonna be left with 9 fourths times e raised to e to the u. We're not done yet because remember the original variable was not u. The original variable was x, but don't worry, u was equal to 4x. That was the original substitution we made. So all we need to do to finish this off is replace this u right here with 4x. So finally, we have 9 fourths e raised to the e, which itself is raised to the 4x, and then plus our constant of integration. And finally, this problem has been solved, a rather mischievous little u substitution.